Hey everybody, and welcome back to the next Flappy Ears tutorial video. So, we are currently at a point where we can play our game once, and then after our elephant dies, the game stops working. So, what we want to do is make it so that when he dies, the game restarts. So, let's go ahead and parent some of our objects to the world. The uh, player, score, sky, and uh, floor, and then the quick shield. And then we're going to go ahead and make a prefab out of it. And then get rid of it from our scene. Um, so now what we want to do is we want to create an empty game object that has a GUI text. And this is going to be our title screen. This thing is going to say to start, click the screen size 18 and we want to align this to the middle center and then we want to add a box glider 10 by 10 by 0 right so if you click on the camera now uh, you want to yeah, put this there uh, let's make it a little bit taller. Eleven, so that now we can pick up events when you click on this title screen. And on the main camera, we want to create a script. Call it our main menu. Or not the camera. Double click our main menu. And this is going to have a uh, reference to our prefab. So save that and then drag our prefab into it. And so on mouse down, what we're going to do is we're going to instantiate the prefab. And our war prefab. Vector three die zero quaternion dot identity as a game object. And so if we do that the game the game starts, but you can you can make a bunch of them. So we're gonna have to turn off some stuff. Uh, what we want to turn off is our box glider and our GUI text. So let's go ahead and get some references to these because we're going to be turning them on and off. Box glider. Save that. Drag the uh, component to the uh, space for it. So now we can say BC dot enabled is false. Text dot enabled is false. So now if you click start. You can only make one world. Okay, good so far.